It's weird, the, the, their hats, the color of the- Ow! Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Michael G. Mons, author, geek, and possessor of the mysterious 8-Ball. And this is where you watch me watch old horror and sometimes sci-fi movies that for some strange reason I have never seen before. Tonight, as a break from slasher movies and as something that just I've been wanting to see for a long time, and also as a result of a Patreon poll, I'm going to be watching Stephen King's Maximum Overdrive with Cider. I've heard from many people that this movie is terrible, but hopefully fun and terrible. I think I've actually read the Stephen King story recently. Is it based on trucks? I think that was the name of the story. But honestly, I don't remember much about what happens, except I think, well, everyone's trapped in a convenience store and there's a truck or the whole bunch of trucks or something. I don't know. But anyway, to enhance the experience, and because I, I think it's it may need it, I've decided to do what I did with, um, what was that movie called? I'm blanking on the name of it, but it was the Ventriloquist Dummy movie. But that was basically the one where I had already consumed a fair amount of cider, at least for me, I have a low tolerance, and did my reacting in complete tipsy mode. So I'm gonna do that again for this one, just because I figured I would do that periodically, and Maximum Overdrive seems to be a fine candidate for it, based on what I know. If you're wondering, I have not yet had any cider. I wanted to record this while I was still, you know, at full command of my mental faculties. But before I do that, as always, just a reminder to please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to. And if you find me at all interesting and want to read some of the things that I've actually written, please check out my books. They're in the description below. And of course, the full-length reaction video for this one will be up on my Patreon page in a watch-along format, so you have to have your own copy of the movie. Given how much cider I will be drinking, it should be an interesting one. I'm going to stop babbling now. I'm going to do the pre-game, I guess you would call it, and I will be back for Maximum Overdrive. Will I enjoy Maximum Overdrive? Signs point to yes. Joining me for Maximum Overdrive will be a Mini Cooper and a Mini Cooper. Two makes it funny. All right, I have had about one and a half, eh, one and two fifths of the strong uh, space giraffe cider. And all I really had for dinner was some fried rice. I uh, got popcorn and got popcorn. So I'm gonna start the movie. I thought it was about trucks. Why are we in space? Is the predator gonna show up? According to astronomical calculations, the planet will remain in the tail of the comet for next eight days, five hours, 29 minutes, and oh, I didn't get to finish the rest. North Carolina? Doesn't Stephen King know his stuff is set in Maine? Wait, Emilio Estevez is in this? I didn't know that. Pat Hingle. I know that name. Laura Harrington sounds familiar too. Yardley Smith? Lisa Simpson is in this movie. That's cool. I'm, I'm entertained already. Christopher Murney's name sounds made up. Bridge is going up. It's going up. It's going up. Going up. The bridge is going up. The That's what I said. Please. Not the watermelons. That's why you wear your seatbelt. And the river piranhas got him. Just, just get out of the car. Wait. Usually the wheel doesn't fall out like that, but I could be wrong. I'm not an automatician. <laughs> it's a clown. Or it's a goblin. It's a goblin clown. I bet they have real good gum there. You want to bring me a light coffee? <gasps> you done jerking on that thing, dog? Oh, who is that? I recognize that actor. The truck driver. Either your ass belongs to me or belongs to the state of North Carolina. Oh, he's a dick. I think there's definitely going to be a net award in this movie. So far, Pat Hengel's the lead net award guy. Oh, I'm afraid of that. Ah! That's pretty impressive for something that... How is it moving? Hey, that knife go rabbit on you, sweet thing. Oh, shove it up your ass. Wait a minute, that's... No. No. Giancarlo Esposito? Is that his name? That's awesome. That, is he getting possessed by the machine? Or is he just getting killed? I think he's just getting killed. It's weird. The, the, their hats, the color of the- Ow! 
Ah, okay, get away from the machine. Get, get away from, get, get away, get away, um. <laughs> oh, that's awful. No, don't go up to the machine. Maybe come around it from the side, not directly ahead of it. It's got a very narrow field of fire, kid. This kid is not, is not, this kid is not smart. And he's running straight, straight away from it. Go back to Prometheus where that kind of shit belongs. Did the bike rebel? Usually I'm a lot quieter during these movies, but I got so much to say about- Oh shit! They're not wasting any time here, are they? Get away from the highways! Oh, f you drinking and driving! I will net award your ass. Uh, get your hands off of really? She's uh and if no. You don't get your hand off my leg, you're gonna be wiping your ass with a hook the next time you take a dump. Just punch him right in the nose right now. Did you hear anything that man said? No, because he's a jerk who's just being a jerk. Are you on something? Really? Women like being sexually harassed unless they're on the drugs. Oh, he's about to die, and I'm I'm really wanting to award him the Ned Award, but it's really early in the movie, so current front runner, that asshole. Oh, he's not dead. I'm a little disappointed. Hey, it's Lisa Simpson, and neither of them are wearing their seatbelts. Wear your seatbelts, people. Just, 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 just do it. Too much cider. I want cake. It's gonna back up. It's gonna back up right over you and the gas tanks and everything will explode. Get in your car and leave. She's smart. I like her. Curtis is just standing there like a buffoon. You're a buffoon, Curtis. I'm exaggerating my reaction on that one. Ice Cream Man's probably dead in there, isn't he? But the ice cream's probably okay. And that's what's important. Come back, Ice Cream Truck. I want the Ice Cream Truck to be the hero of this movie who helps the humans fight against the bad machines. The Ice Cream Truck is the Optimus Prime of Maximum Overdrive. He will save us and he will give us ice cream. And all will be right with the world. And he's about to die. He got run over. Ha ha! You suck. Hey, don't call her a bitch. So far that guy, I don't know his name, but that guy's ahead in the Ned Award competition. I'm sitting right here on the couch. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, you're running straight away from the truck. Go to the side. Go to one other side. Oh no, he has been hurted. I am so not bothered by this. Yeah, fuck you, phone booth. Their depot. That's that's her issue with this. Oh yeah, I forgot about them. Is it only the trucks and the vending machines and the knives and the like? Why is their car still being nice to them? Should I ask questions like this? Don't well, blame Curtis. It's not his fault, or is it? What else, what is going on? I don't know. Calm down. Just a machine Armageddon. Why does he have a RPG? Why? 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 Where? I want some explanation for this. I like this movie. It's silly. Where'd you get all that stuff? Oh, we got a whole bunch of stuff down here. Oh, is he an arms dealer? That would be an odd thing. Well, that's it's good to have a hobby. We got all that toilet paper. That's worth $500,000 in 2020 money. Girl hitching her way down to Florida needs some protection. 
That's what I was doing before every machine in the world went into maximum overdrive. Title drop! Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba that was a nice use of Art of the Valkyries for no good reason. Why not, right? You find any money on him, Bubba? Why do you keep calling people Bubba when Bubba's I your name? Know. You're confused. Nothing's really happening for a while. You know what I think? No one seems particularly concerned or wondering about what's. Oh yeah, you think people are now starting you know, to wonder? We've been in its tail for almost twelve hours. Now the jukebox is angry. We may fail. We may fail. She's a little drunk. We may go. We may Look you. out! It's a truck. They decided to stop before driving through the building. And you have to respect that for some reason. I'm talking a lot. This movie, the YouTube version of this, is going to be a Pain in the ass to edit. Ha ha! Screw you, editing Mike. Michael. Why are they driving in circles? No one knows. Do you know, Mini Coopers? They don't know. That's that Bible salesman I rode in with. There's some guy out there? He's still alive. That sucks. I'm not sad that he will die, but I am, I am empathetic to his suffering. He's being a hero. You ain't going. You're not going. I'm going. Just leave him. He's an asshole. Don't make me a widow on my wedding day, Curtis. Yeah, Curtis, that ain't cool. Curtis is gonna die, isn't he? Did he just run into the door? I got an excuse. I've been drinking cider. You are sober. If the cars can move their gear shifts, steering wheels, and gas pedals, without any servos or motors there that would normally control those. Why do the cars need gas? Look at a chew movie. There's a logical flaw here. If you don't solve it by the end of the movie, I get to have cake. Great smell, huh? I wonder how many people have peed in this. <sighs> Dude, stop focusing on the pee. How's it taste? Okay, you keep commenting. I want to think you got a fetish. Then I'll be possibly judging you, Mr. Movie Character Curtis. Oh, it's a fuzzy friend. Meanwhile, this kid's off having his own adventures that don't mean to seem to connect anything or, or mean anything. Well, why are we with him? No, he dead. Mister? No, he dead. Dude, kid, come on. He's dead, kid. He's not blinking. He's not moving. He's dead. He's dead. Dead, 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 dead. Or, to put it another way, he's not dead. Pull me. Pull me. I bite Jesus. I'll kill you. Yeah, right there, threatening the kid. Get me out of the ditch or I'll kill you. Ned Award. Ned Award. This might be, I'm not sure if he'll survive. This might be the first instance of a Ned Award where the Ned Award recipient does not actually die. But he now seems to be actually dead. Because they don't seem to have taken him back. I think they're dead. No, they fine. They fine. You ain't gonna be satisfied. You get them right in here with us, are you, Bubba? Stop calling people Bubba. No one in this movie seems to have a particular plan or a goal or anything. I mean, they don't even have the goal of surviving. Because they're not really talking about, like, what are we going to do? They're all just like, hey, I guess we'll sit around. No one's trying to plan anything. No one's trying to do anything. Bye, Pat Hingle. He dead. Random other person is dead. That guy dead. Everybody dead. I don't want to alarm anyone, but I, I think this movie's kind of stupid. The big guys, they're heavyweights, okay? Uh -huh. They crash in here, they're going to break through the floor and end up in the cellar. Oh, they that's why they don't crash in, they'll end up in the cellar. 
Maybe you could go up there and take the bullets out of the gun. 89 cents a gallon. 89 cents a gallon. Sorry guys. It's fun while it lasts. Well don't stand in front of it. You might get mad and run you over. Oh, is that a fuel truck? To bring more gas. What? Don't stand in front of it. Dude, don't stand in front of it. There's a lot of people in this movie who have issues with standing in front of things. When they could just stand to the side and not get their asses killed. You know, this story had no right to try and grow from a short story to a feature movie. Because it's just not working. When I'm drinking cider and I'm getting bored. But it's not shutting me up, apparently. This movie is terrible. I chose well in picking one to watch while cider enhanced. Hashtag ciderpunk. What you gonna do? What you gonna do you gonna when do, they huh? come for you? Bad trucks, bad trucks. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You should've taken the bullets. Just take the bullets. They're right there. You take them. And you take the... And it explodes. Okay, that works too. I've lost track of what happened to Pat Hingle. Maybe I drank too much cider for this one. Well, editing me will see what happens to Pat Hingle, so that's good. These trucks are dumb, they don't understand that gasoline explodes. Curtis is still alive, I was not expecting him to last this long. Maybe you shouldn't follow the road. Maybe you should go into the woods where the trucks cannot find you. Oh, that thing's still alive. Hello, Mr. School Bus! With a plane in its head. That seems unfortunate. There's an ice cream truck again. Don't hurt the ice cream! Aww. Poor ice cream truck. They just committed a crime against ice cream. I will not stand for that. Are the boats like trucks? They've got gasoline engines. Don't get on the boat. The boat will... Oh. Well, see, that car rebelled. How come the other car didn't rebel? What are you doing? That is a big ring. If it's that big, it's probably fake. Though Brad's going to get killed because he's being greedy. That's just how that works. See, there's a... You got the... You got the Green Goblin behind you. And Spider-Man ain't going to save you because Spider-Man's in New York. And he's got not time for you. Yeah, he got run over. And it exploded. Why are the boats not... Why is it just the trucks? And occasional cars and vending machines and... I know everything's gonna be alright. Why do you know everything's gonna... Two days later, an audio it happened to be equipped with laser cannon and cloud. What? So the Russians saved us because the large UFO was in between finishing the movie and starting recording of my outro here. I looked up on IMDb who the truck driver guy who I've been trying to identify was and why he was familiar. And I realized, or I didn't realize, I looked up and discovered that he played Pops in Luke Cage, who was a character that I really loved, and he got, spoiler alert for Luke Cage, he got killed two episodes in, which really pissed me off. So that's where I've seen him before. That said, this was an excellent movie to do with cider because it was just not good. Why? 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 I mean, there's really no escalation. There's no good. I mean, Stephen King's not. Stephen King understands how story works. He's not like, I mean, movies and books are different. And maybe that was the issue. But it's like once everything starts happening, it's sort of like it's up and it just plateaued for a long time. And no one was really. Okay, let me stop and say that admittedly, after being loopy on cider, it's possible I was missing things. Because I missed Pat Hingle. I don't even know what happened to Pat Hingle. I just suddenly was aware he was not around anymore. I kind of missed what happened to the salesman guy. Who, by the way, the salesman guy 
Still gets the Ned Award. He had some competition from Pat Hengel, but I'm still feeling at this point that I was more annoyed by the, the handsy, sexual, harassy salesman guy. So anyway, what I was saying was I might have missed some things, but it felt to me, it felt too tipsy, Michael, that it's just like, oh, la la la, la regular day, trucks trying to kill us all, and the knife thing and the vending machine. And it just plateaued for a while. And they're like, oh yeah, we should leave now. And then they leave and they get away. And nothing really happened with the survivors that seemed to escalate or or add to the situation. It was just like, oh yeah, we're here in the gas station while the trucks are circling. And it didn't seem to be affecting them that much. They weren't trying to plan. They weren't coming up with ideas that the execution of which could have elevated the tension or anything. It just sort of seemed like a bunch of stuff that happened and then they get away. Again, possibly cider, but given how poorly received this movie was that I recall, I'm thinking that cidered Michael will have the same opinion as non-cidered Michael. So it was, it was, I enjoyed, I had fun with this experience, but I'm also glad I did not watch it without the benefit of the cider. I don't think I have much more to say at this point. It's still pretty cool that I got to see Juan Carlo Esposito in an early role. That's neat. And again, if you enjoyed this tipsy experience, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me know what you guys like. And it also obviously helps the channel to grow and to get more followers and to encourage me to do more. So please subscribe if you want to see more of this. If you want to see the full length reaction, it's found on my Patreon. This one is just sure to be kind of a loopy little ride because I don't know how it wound up in the in the YouTube edit yet, but I'm sure that the extended version or the full watch along version will have much more than made it into this video because I was I was yammering a lot. I'm mean, hopefully it's funny or amusing to you. Please take a look at the description. There's a bunch of stuff down there that I would like you to see. I'm not going to go into it right now because I have had the alcohols and I need water. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this long. I hope you enjoy this video. And I hope you all are doing very well. And everyone is having the best mental health that can be had in this current period that we're in. Anyway, good night. I still want cake.